if your PC doesn't boot or your laptop doesn't boot and you want to clone your drive to get all your data off so you don't lose it I'm going to show you how to do that by using a program called WinPE or BartPE now you can use other tools to do the same job called XX Clone or Drive Image XML or Clonezilla or Paragon's Drive Backup Express something of that nature and there's loads of other different types of way of cloning drives now we want to make sure that we uh, boot to our CD so you're going to need to make sure you get whatever tool that you wanted to do, use to actually clone the drive okay so I'm going to reboot the system this is a Windows operating system Windows 7 operating system I'm going to be rebooting the system and uh, cloning the drive from a CD a pre-installed environment so let's reboot okay so this is my CD I've now booted it up and I've got a slightly uh, different um, selection of uh, choice here compared to what you may have so don't worry about that you've got um, probably a different disk to me or you may have the same one whatever it doesn't really matter so I'm going to be using the BART PE Win PE build I'm going to go to that okay now you just boot to whatever you need to boot as long as you um, have got the actual same program I'm going to be using I'm going to be using Semantic Ghost to actually clone the drive from a pre-installed environment okay now you can do this using drive image XML as well there's a little plugin that you can use in ultimate boot CD for win and stuff like that um, but clonezilla is, is its own tool its own bootable CD it's Linux based you can use that as well okay so let's load this in now you will see a Windows lo uh, logo screen here don't worry about that just um, that's not the actual Windows booting up that's the actual CD loading in okay so don't think this is your Windows suddenly booting up it's um, it's just a CD so just let this load okay so this is uh, the CD pretty much loaded in now and as you can see we've got a, a little network support do you want to allow that now that's if you want to um, allow network support so you can go on the internet and stuff like that I don't need to do that for this uh, video so I'm gonna click no now I need to go to go programs now yours might be slightly different but if you've got the same CD then you can obviously use uh, the semantic ghost that you've got on your build so I'm going to actually go to semantic ghost and then go to ghost 32 let that load in and then click OK and then go local then disk and then to image now this is, means we want to create an image of our drive and send it to another location as in an external hard drive okay because the PC is not now booting you can't put it on that drive because it's no point because you ain't gonna be able to get to it so we're gonna go like this now you may have a, a load more selections here depending on how many drive partitions you got I'm gonna be uh, cloning one which is my C drive click OK and this will be slightly different than yours as well uh, you're gonna have USB drives and everything here now just for this video uh, this is a virtual box so it hasn't got a USB external drive or nothing like that so I'm just actually showing you so yours would be uh, a USB external drive here or something of that nature you'd click on that drive to send it to that location okay it will be actually sending the image copying the C drive and sending it to there it's pretty much that simple really all we need to do now is put our name in here what we want to call it and I'm going to call mine backup and I always like to put the date in there just so I know when I last made this uh, image okay so there's the date 2503.10 and I need to also put a little description down here now you can actually say uh, uh, my cloned if you wanted to uh, C drive and you can put the date in there if you wanted to and then basically all you need to do here is click save now what this is going to do is it's saying proceed with the image file creation it's going to try and create the image of the C drive and send it to your external hard drive or the location that you've specified as in this case here you can see source it's got the actual drive one which will be C drive and the destination file uh, location which will be sent to backup uh, on the R drive there which will be an external drive okay so click yes and basically that's it you're pretty much good to go this is now going to clone the whole drive and send that image over there okay so I hope you enjoyed these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk please hit that subscribe button guys and also rate for all my videos thanks again for watching bye for now